<coughs> Hello there YouTubers today, Liver Flesh Man here, gonna talk about uh, some different herbs here that uh, and what they do and what what organs are used for, you know, including the intestines, um, the heart, anti inflammatory, anti parasitic, antifungal, antibacteria, um, just all around cleansing herbs in different ways. Huh? So I'm going to start off here with uh, one of the, the number one possible liver uh, herb, which is milk thistle. Milk thistle here. So these are milk thistle seeds, and you can actually take these, just put them in your mouth and chew them up, and it's a bitter, and bitters are good for the liver like that. They help uh, release uh, secrete bile and they protect the cells and everything so milk thistle that's a standard so what th what I'm making here is I, I make an amazing tea an actual shaman tea that is an all body cleanse for all different things and I'm going to talk about uh, mixing herbs or you know using certain herbs by themselves for different reasons the milk thistle can be used for um, a number of things but especially it's really good for the liver so you know, I put maybe a little a little pinch of, of milk thistle seeds, you know, you don't need a lot because all these herbs, well, all of them together, uh, end up being a lot of stuff here. This is slippery elm bark, bark, which is, you know, one thing about cleansing is cleansing the intestines and by giving the intestines these herbal teas with all these, like these uh, intestinal, like the slippery elm bark uh, coats the intestines and, and gives it healing he healing energy to the intestines helps to stop leaky gut you know a big portion of these herbs here are for stopping leaky gut as well as cleansing the kidneys and the liver and uh, the uh, intestinal tract so slippery elm bark um, milk fish that we got there um, horsetail here is typically used for hair skin and nails uh, it's a form of silica in the plant like uh, crystals, quartz crystals is a silica and you can get silica gel of quartz crystals and it's really good for your skin, this is good for the skin and building tissue, so building tissue in the liver, building tissue in the intestines um, healthy tissue, you know, repairing tissue um, horsetail there, so then we have here's the blessed thistle and this is one of the thistles like milk thistle which is um, it's also a bitter and this is also a liver herb but as well this is also good for digestive system blessed thistle as well and um, yeah so it's a bitter herb and it's nice in the tea as well so uh, <coughs> then here we have ladies mantle and this was typically is typically used for lactating women that are breastfeeding to for, for good milk uh, healthy milk and also ladies mantle grows in nature like a cup like a cup like this and it holds water so this is good this is good for the leaky gut as well the ladies mantle right because in nature it holds water like that and it's also good for the intestines for leaky gut where the actual strands of fiber that hold the intestines together become opened up it, it, they become opened up and, and actual fluid can le leak through so um, that is really good for that as well here's marshmallow root which is a cooling herb slightly cooling that um, um, marshmallow root uh, it also coats the intestines with the good uh, beneficial nutrients that it needs for to support it um, then here we have licorice root, and now licorice root gives it that sweetness. Uh, it gives the um, it gives the tea that you make the shaman tea with all this uh, total body cleanse herbs. The, the licorice will give it a sweet flavor and a kind of licorice flavor as well. Licorice root it allows all these herbs to combine and work together, and it, it that's the nutrient that allows the combination of so many herbs together as well as a sweetness so uh, the licorice root is awesome it's really amazing now if you're wondering where you can get these kind of herbs hopefully you have like a herbal shop somewhere um, in your local um, town or city there um, like we have we luckily have one here called Cellfeel and typically most of these come in organic through this store as well here's organic rose hips here 
and rose hips contain a lot of vitamin C and other antioxidants and as well they um, they have a nice sweet flavor from their vitamin C content and um, nice 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 add some flavor as well then here we have papaya leaf and just like as you know papaya has a certain enzyme called papain enzyme and this enzyme is a proleolytic enzyme so the papaya leaf um, is also helps with um, it's a uh, anti-parasitic so this helps get rid of parasites the papaya leaf helps kill parasites as well it's good for the digestive system so for leaky gut and healing leaky gut as well uh, the papaya leaf um, here's just some alfalfa leaf which has the typical vitamins and nutrients of alfalfa which is usually in green mixes and stuff like that these three here I'm going to talk about because these came at the Southfield place as already pre-made mixes for certain things this here is rhubarb powder and rhubarb is another really good for intestinal anti-inflammatory anti you know uh, rhubarb and, and, and all these herbs here generally are all anti-inflammatories um, um, and uh, it also coats the intestines with the healthy nutrients that it needs to maintain so the number one way to treat leaky gut is actually by doing uh, not eating for like you know a week or something you know three four days uh, at least and then eat, drinking these teas while you're doing it which is what I'm doing now and uh, it's, it's really going to flush out everything and work with here's some raspberry leaves and that's going to more vitamin C some more nice flavor antioxidants and more vitamins and nutrients um, also gives it the raspberry flavor this is called cascar cascara sagrada which is this is um, a bowel tonic which is used to ca ca stimulate the peristalsis of the intestines which is the contraction like a snake when it digests a mouse it contracts the peristalsis and pushes the mouse to the center where it could be digested same what happens with the bowels and the intestinal tract from the small to large it contracts and pushes your stools through so this helps to do that and um, and so does uh, senna leaf senna leaf and senna and senna pods which I think I have here or at least it's in one of these mixes um, we also have uh, ginkgo leaf here which is this is a brain nutrient so taking this with cilantro will help cro cro cross the blood brain barrier and uh, bring this ginkgo brain food to your brain as well the intestines is like a brain too and this feeds the intestines so this is good for the gut as well um, then here um, these three here well this here is raupos raupos uh, tea, which is a, it's a, it's got antioxidants, uh, antioxidants, and it's like a green tea. It's a it's powerful antioxidant. Gives it some flavor too. I mean, you could put whatever you want in. You don't have to put everything. That's for sure. You can mix and, you know, just know the liquor shrubs helps combine them and it is a nutrient. We got some main coast sea veggies here, which all kelp and seaweed and stuff like that. And I think we got some more here. Uh, of the uh, yeah here's some this is Atlantic kelp powder here so this is kelp powder and all the kelps and seaweeds of the sea what they do in nature is they detoxify heavy metals and stuff like that in their bodies and in the sea and they you know the, the, when they're living in the sea they transform toxic waste into uh, clean water and usable water again so this this here is a bowel tonic specially made. I got a self heal which contains like cayenne and marshmallow root and rhubarb. A lot of these herbs are in this one. But it's got so quite a bit of cayenne, and the guy really believes in the bowel tonic with cayenne. And so I use cayenne sometimes. Here's some nice strong cayenne, and uh, cayenne also helps rebuild new tissue. That's why it's used in the master cleanse because you're detoxifying but you're building new tissue with that cayenne powder it also gently scrapes the intestinal walls and draws out toxins um, it's a blood purifier as well this is a cleansing tea so 
this by itself is enough for a cleansing tea, and I'll tell you the ingredients of this one thing. Here is probably about 20 herbs or so. There's a couple I missed. That's rosemary there, so that also gives it a nice flavor, of course, as well. It's a powerful healing property. Chamomile here, which is relaxing, so it gets you to relax while you drink these teas and all these mixes. It relaxes your intestinal system. You could use cava cava a bit too if you want. Here's some marigold and calendula here. And calendula and marigold are really good. And calendula is good for healing for the skin. It's often put in salves and stuff like that. Um, this cleansing tea here has peppermint, anise, licorice, fennel, violet leaves, and fenugreek. Fenugreek, yeah. And so, yeah, that's uh, cleansing tea there that was pre-made, which I add into the mix. This is called uh, Nerviana tea, which has got chamomile. Of course, it's for the nerves. Chamomile relaxes. It's got hops, vervain, uh, verilane, uh, skullcap. Skullcap is the uh, also uh, relaxes the nerves and is a, and is a tonic, a liver tonic, and it's a uh, good for the hair. Um, oat straw. Oat straw also um, is good for the intestines. It's going to bring it healthy fibers for regrowing tissue for the leaky gut and healing it up. You got nettles here which is an all-around herb. It's got so many vitamins, nutrients and that's that in itself. Nettles by itself is an amazing tea that gives you so much nutrients. And of course the famous St. John's wort which has so many things that it heals so many parts of the body so that's an all-around uh, nerve cleansing tea to relax you um, and this is a laxative tea so this one especially here was pre-made as well with these herb combinations by the woman that put them together that knows the, the right ratios of them we got the uh, this is a laxative tea so we got peppermint uh, cascara uh, Bark, which is the Cascada Sagrara, uh, it's, it's the peristalsis and the peppermint cools, it's anti-inflammatory, it, it's circulation, brings circulation, but it's um, really good for all parts of the body, the peppermint. We got the licorice root again, which licorice root was used in most of those for combining uh, herbs. Like I said, the licorice root helps to combine them well and gives it a sweet flavor. The anise seed, ginger root. We got fennel seed, uh, senna leaf and senna pods, um, and the senna leaf and senna pods are another peristalsis herb that uh, so is used in this um, laxative tea because it stimulates the peristalsis, the contraction of intestines, and marshmallow root, the cooling um, ad addition to the the bowels, they're the intestinal. So all these together have been make uh, put together in a in a cleansing tea and also. One other thing I did with all this is I added also David Jubb's, uh, I think it's 19 or 21 sp specifically designed herbs for, for blood purification and I add that to the tea mix. Um, I like to put more licorice root than anything else to sweeten it and have that combining effect. Um, you can put a dash of cloves which is, helps for parasites too and gives it a sweet flavor. Um, um, you can also put other things like turmeric or uh, turmeric or uh, uh, curry or cumin and stuff like that because that also has the curcumin which also is an anti-inflammatory uh, and anti-tumor anti -tumor. and all of these together work as anti-tumors uh, has effects and when you mix them all together I guess what I find is it's very much like a shaman mix it's like doing uh, some kind of uh, shaman, you know, psychedelic or uh, ethanogen of some kind, ecogen of some kind, it actually takes your intestines on a little bit of a journey and um, yeah, you just got to embrace it and let the healing powers and know that it's healing and just, you know, and, 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 uh, and be a master and know, you know, start, start using a little bit of herbs here and there and then eventually you'll be able to combine them and you'll be able to work with them all and uh, so that's the little thing on the herbs there that we went through about probably 30 different herbs that are good for very much for the digestive system 
Some were special, specifically designed for the uh, liver. Um, some of them, like another one that's good for the lungs if you're a smoker, is mullen. Mullen and clap, cat's claw. Um, mullen is the number one for if you want to cleanse your lungs, you can drink the tea and even you can make smoking mixtures, healthy smoking mixtures by putting mullen in there as well and smoking that and helping to clean the lungs. But like herbs are just amazing for um, their power to regenerate and heal. And there's so many of them out there on the planet that these are just the ones that uh, that are common, more popular, and are widely used. And we know lots about what they do do and how they work. All right. So that's it for the uh, the herbal education from Lerner Fleshman. Thank you. Oh, and I just wanted to show you the tea in the making. I made this one yesterday and. If you see you see those chunks of things there, that is all the herbs connected that that has the the ginger big slices of ginger. Uh, ginger is an anti-inflammatory, antibacterial, antifungal, anti-inflammation herb. All right, and uh, it, ha it gives it a nice good flavor as well. So, yeah, experiment with all these herbs, um, and, and and these are just amazing cleansing teas. You can live off these teas and your intestines will help manufacture vitamins and nutrients that you don't necessarily need from the foods. The herbs contain nutrients that allows your intestines to be manufacturers more than processors. 95% of the population's intestines are processors of the nutrients. They don't actually get receive the nutrients that they can manufacture vitamins and nutrients that maybe you can't even really get from even natural foods on the planet that contain them, that, but the intestines can actually produce and manufacture these important nutrients that can be used as super nutrients for the body. So try it out for yourself. There it is, the, uh, the cleanse, all body cleansing tea.